And now, what you've all been waiting for, my Q&A video! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Q&A video. I'm gonna try to do this all in one video, but you guys know I love to talk and you guys ask a lot of questions. So I don't know, I'm just gonna dive right in and try to start answering these um, and we'll just see where it goes. But um, about, a m no, it was probably more like two months ago actually. I, oh my God, that's so embarrassing to admit. I asked you guys to ask me questions as part of my giveaway so I could do a Q&A video and then life just got way out of hand for me and I just hadn't had a chance to like deal with the questions until now but here I am and now I'm gonna answer the questions for you so I'm just gonna I, I copy and pasted them into a document and I'm just gonna kind of scroll through and answer them the best that I can all right let's get started oh yeah so the first one is a little heavy actually um so we're just gonna start right off then I guess so the question is uh, when did you realize you needed help with your mental health um, I'm gonna give you a short answer to this because I've been thinking a lot about this and I want to answer this in a longer video I want to do a video about my mental health journey um, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while and then this recent week with Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain um, it just really was very triggering for me and I just felt like I really want to make my video so um, if that's something that you're interested in please make sure that you're subscribed because um, I will be making that video really soon I think um, um, so short answer to that is I've always known I was neurotic <laughs> I've been neurotic since I was a kid um, but I didn't think I needed help for it until I was about 23 um, when I was 22 it got really bad my best friend died and it was really triggering for me so all the mental health issues I was having um, sort of became way worse and I did seek out help then and I've been in the process of getting help over the last you know decade or so but it wasn't until last year um when i was you know 33 that i got the proper help that i actually needed um so it was a very long journey but i always kind of knew i needed it um but i will tell the full story of that in another video so yeah i um I do encourage you though that, I mean, I feel like you know, you know, you know if how you're feeling isn't right or doesn't feel like it should. And if that's the case, please don't, don't wait to get the help because I wish I would have gotten the proper help that I did way sooner because now I feel amazing. <laughs> so on to the next question. Um, I mentioned I swim. Where do I get my swimsuits? Okay, well... <laughs> I'm gonna, this is like really embarrassing. In my adult life, so since I was 18, I've owned two swimsuits. <laughs> One was, I bought at like Avenue, is that even a store anymore? I don't know. But I bought it at like an Avenue store, it was like for big girls, you know? Um, back when I was 18, I thought I was like a real big girl and I wasn't. Um, and then this most recent one, I guess, I'm assuming I got it from Lane Bryant, I think. Um, but it is old. I've lost a lot of weight. I need a new one. So I'm looking for recommendations. So if anyone uh, has any recommendations for big girl bathing suits, comment down below. Let me know because I'm on the hunt. Um, what is my favorite thing to eat at the Disney parks? I'm going to be really honest. This is not going to be a popular answer. But I don't really love the food at Disneyland. I feel like people who just go there like on vacation, it's like the ambiance of everything and everything tastes so good. But when you're there all the time, you realize the food is just kind of mediocre and a lot of it's really sugary or really like greasy. So I would have to say maybe the french fries at Award Wieners are really good. Um... The mozzarella sticks at um, Stage Door were really choice, but they stopped uh, making those. And um, I don't know, I'm gonna be really honest, everything else is just kind of okay. Nothing's even like standing out to me. So yeah, sorry, I don't have a better answer for that. Um, in my opinion, why do I think Weight Watchers works better than any other plan that I've tried? So. Here's why I think Weight Watchers works. Because I can still eat some crappy food. I just can't eat a lot of it. Um, 
Counting calories worked for me too for the same sort of reason is that like I didn't have to make like such drastic overnight changes. Why cal calorie counting didn't work in the long run for me was it was exhausting. Always trying to figure out down to the minute number every single thing, how many servings, how many calories. It was just so, I feel like Weight Watchers is just easier with the points um, to keep track of. So that's why it works best for me. What is my favorite way to get in um, activity weekly? Walking around at Disneyland, that's my favorite. I do love swimming though, so um, we have a swimming pool here at the apartment complex and I plan to do a lot of that this summer. Do I work? Yes, I do. <laughs> I wish I could say no, but no, I do work. Uh, and I've mentioned this in a few videos recently, I teach um, English to college students, so yeah. What is my favorite song to sing karaoke to? So I don't really sing a lot of karaoke though. It's really fun. I just don't do it. I really want to do one of those things though, where you like um, rent a room and you just like hang out with your friends or your family or whatever. I would totally be down for that. And I would sing like every song that I love. Um, but like publicly, I feel like I've maybe sang like uh, Friends in Low Places is probably an easy one. There's no really high notes. I know all the words. So Garth Brooks, I guess, Friends in Low Places would probably be my favorite karaoke song. Do me and the hubby cook together? And if so, what is our favorite thing to cook? So we used to like cook together all the time. Well, okay. We used to never. And then we went through like a spurt for a while where we were like cooking stuff together all the time. And then now we just were just talking about this the other day. We like never cook together anymore. So our favorite thing to cook would be like frozen pizza, I guess. <laughs> That's. But when we did used to cook together, um, we made this one thing that was so good. It was, um, like an inside out lasagna. So like, you had like the noodles on the outside and then you like cut into it and it was like a little like pie of lasagna. Oh my God, it was so good. So, um, but we just liked having fun and like trying different stuff. We were never having like, oh, this is our one thing that we cook together. Although I think we're going to try to cook more, um, together in the future. Okay, so what is my nationality? Better question is, what isn't my nationality? Uh, I have a lot of things going on. The main things are I'm French, Russian, Polish, and Native American, um, specifically Miami. Um, so in the French, there is a French Canadian as well as French, because I'm French on two different sides. And then, um, so I guess maybe probably mostly French. Um, and then uh, my great grandpa came here from Russia. My great grandma came here from Poland. Um, so I definitely have a lot of that. And then I think there's like a little bit of Irish on one of my grandma's sides. And then like one of the French sides is a little bit of Italian in there too. Um, but not like, you know, I would say the main things are French, Russian, Polish, and Miami. So the next question is really hard. It's asking, would I rather give up going to the Disney parks for a year or collecting pins for a year? I would say I would rather give up collecting pins for the year. Um, I love, love my pins. They make me so happy, but I love going to the park. It's so much fun and it's really something um, active for me to do. And after the year is up, I could go back and make up all the pins that I lost. So, um, but I would never be able to make up that year that I lost being able to go to the park. So that's my answer. Okay, so the next question is, if I could collect pins of one character, not a movie, what would I choose? Hmm, well my major pin collecting um, like movies are Zootopia, Robin Hood, Dumbo, and um, Roger Rabbit. Oh yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas is another one that I collect, sorry. And so, but I also have like side collections of Kylo and Eeyore and um, some other side collections that I can't think, Ursula. So I don't know if I only had to pick one character. I would choose Dumbo because he's so cute and I love him and his big blue eyes remind me of my grandma. Okay, so the next question wants to know when my husband and I met and how. I actually did a whole video on this. Um, I'll link that in the description. It's our whole love story. But to answer it really shortly, we met in 2003 online uh, through AOL dial-up. Um, but if you want to know how that all happened, um, you'll have to watch that video. So it's linked in the description and maybe I'll try to link it at the end too. But yeah, we met in 2003. He was living in North Carolina, I was living in Illinois, and we met through um, just AOL search. You know, you could look up people's profiles and stuff. So that's how we met. My most memorable Disney moment? I would have to 
say my most memorable Disney moment was when my brothers came to visit and we all got to go together. That was a lot of fun. And I never thought that I would ever go, get to go to Disney with my brothers. I was sad that my one brother Nathan wasn't able to make it, but it was really amazing to have my other brothers and my sister-in-law there, so as well as my husband. So that's probably my most favorite memory. How many pins are in my Zootopia collection? I honestly, I have a whole bag full of them that I haven't opened yet that I haven't done a pin video with yet. So I would say, I can't tell you right now how many, but it would definitely be more than 50. So I don't know, is that bad? <laughs> what is my piece of advice for someone who wants to start YouTube? Okay, so here's my advice for YouTube. One, keep it real, be yourself, don't front. That doesn't mean you have to tell every single detail about your life. What I mean is like be yourself in the videos that you do. Like don't put on a persona, don't lie or you know, just be 100 you all the time because that's what people like. People want you, not a version of you, right? And this is why you should do it. To, to give a piece of yourself to other people, to connect with other people. So that's my number one piece of advice. Number two is be consistent. It's really, really hard to be consistent and um, always do it, but it's so rewarding and so much fun. And so definitely try to make it a priority if it's something you really wanna do. And I would say number three, do the videos you wanna do, not the videos that you think people are gonna watch. Because the whole point of doing YouTube is for you to do what you want, to share your life, to share your stories, to share your experiences with other people. And so I always just do the videos I want, and if people wanna watch them, great, I hope you do. But I'm doing this because this is what I wanna do. So that's my advice if you wanna do a YouTube channel. Okay, so the next question is, um, if I'm planning to go to Disney in Paris, and what made me love Disney so much and my best memories there? So, I didn't start going to Disney, the parks, until last year. Um, I grew up really poor, we couldn't afford to go, so I didn't start going until I was an adult, and then I avoided it for a long time when I was an adult because I thought I was too fat, which, Turns out I'm not, and if you are someone watching and you think that you're too fat, I did a whole series on that. Okay, so my uh, memory card ran out of room, so I had to stop, so I think I'm gonna start over. Um, the question is asking, do I plan to go to Disney in Paris, and what made me love Disney so much, and what were my best memories at Disney? So, Disney Paris, yes, 100% we're planning to go. We didn't go, um, I've been to Paris twice, and we didn't go either time. I'm kind of regretting that now. Um, one was I was just afraid with my weight that I wouldn't be able to ride anything. That still might be true, I don't know, but I'll, I'll go anyway this time. Um, I don't know if the rides are like a lot smaller there. But the other times too, is like the first time we went to Paris, we just already had everything so planned out. Um, and we just did not have the room for that or like the money to be honest. And then the second time we went, basically kind of the same thing, but we had one day allotted to like go out of Paris because Disneyland's not actually in Paris, it's like an hour out of it. And we could either go to Versailles or Disneyland and we chose Versailles. So. Um, which ended up kind of sucking because it was super rainy so we couldn't even see the gardens or anything. Although it wouldn't have been good to go to Disneyland on a rainy day either. So it's rainy a lot in Paris. So, um, But we definitely, definitely plan and we actually were talking about it yesterday. We're hoping maybe to go in the next two years to go back to Paris because we love it and we miss it and then we definitely want to hit up Disneyland when we're there. Um, what is my favorite thing about Disney? Everything, hello. I've been obsessed with Disney since I was a kid but I think honestly it's the songs. The music, I love um, musicals, I love um, movies, I love laughing, I love all that stuff. So, I don't know, I love it for the same reason. I love musicals, I love things that are over the top, funny, with lots of music, so. Um, favorite Disney memories, I mean, I make memories every time I go, isn't that cheesy? Um, but I, I don't know, I didn't go as a kid, so I don't have a lot of like kid memories. I've only been going to the parks in the last year, so. Um, I have a lot of really good memories of just fun, you know, riding um, Grizzly River Run with my in-laws. <laughs> like my father-in-law never rides rides. He just gets motion sick too easily. But he rode that with us and he just laughed the whole way through and got soaked and it was so much fun. So that was probably one of my best memories, um, seeing Ben on a ride, having a good time. What is my go-to breakfast for Weight Watchers? Ugh. I'm gonna be honest. 
I don't eat breakfast most days and I know that's so bad but I just don't I don't have the time I'm not hungry I also take a medicine in the morning um, for my thyroid I have um, an underactive thyroid and you have to take it like an hour before you eat and so I usually don't get up with enough time to like take my medicine wait an hour then eat like I usually wake up take my medicine and go to work so then I don't eat until lunch so most days I eat two meals I eat like a brunch kind of thing and then I eat dinner so I know that's bad and I'm trying to get better at that I'm gonna um, try to start having my brother help me meal prep some breakfast burritos so maybe I'll start doing that but to be honest right now I just I don't eat breakfast how do I store and organize my Disney pins? Ooh. Well, I do have two um, bulletin boards, which I'm gonna do some videos on some of that soon. Um, so I do have two bulletin boards in my hallway that have like a lot of pins on it, but those are now like officially full. So I do have some in a pin bag, and then I have some in a drawer, and I actually have some in a box right now too. So I'm working on getting that taken care of, but it's, it's messy right now. What is something on my Disney bucket list? my disney bucket list is to go to all the disney parks um we kind of have been talking about going to uh, tokyo disney and disney sea but i also am really really wanting to go to hong kong disneyland so so i think my like wish list is to honestly go to every single park so that's that's kind of like the dream there monorail or train well i guess i'd say the train the monorail kind of sucks like it just kind of gets you if you don't feel like walking um into the park from downtown disney i don't like that it's like sideways there's no air conditioning the view's not great the train is honestly though it's kind of weird but i at least like the weird kitschy stuff um where there's like a grand canyon and like dinosaurs i don't know it's they're both very strange that's the answer to that question what kind of music am i into um, I'm into so many kinds of music and it has really changed over the years and I honestly like, to be completely honest, most kinds of music. The only kind of music I don't really like is country, but I do like old 90s country when I was a kid. Um, and some like really old country, but like newer country is not really my thing. So anything else, but like major, I, I, I guess you would say like alternative, um, and, uh, sort of, what would you call airborne? sort of maybe I guess alternative is the best way to describe music uh, that I like so kind of rock and rollish heavy guitar emo-y lyrics you know that kind of stuff my favorite band is the airborne toxic event so if that answers your question you've probably never even heard of them but that's my favorite band do I have certain songs or playlists that I listen to when I need motivation so mm, this de this depends I do have a playlist actually let me pull it up I don't remember exactly what I call it. Um, and it doesn't even have that many songs on it. But I have a playlist for when I am, like, I need, like, I'm sad. Or, like, I need pepping up. Okay, so the playlist... Ooh. Okay, so my playlist is called... My phone is dead. That's what my playlist is called. Okay, so I had to look it up on Spotify. My phone just died, so I had to look it up on my computer. The playlist is called Put Me in a Good Mood, Please. Um, and so that has, I'll just give you a couple, it doesn't have that many songs, um, but it has Obla D, Obla Da by The Beatles. Uh, I Believe in a Thing Called Love by The Darkness. Um, Gagnum Style, that's kind of an embarrassing uh, playlist, actually. But this is what I need when I need like motivation or like, it's more of like a, when I'm in a sad mood or like a bad mood, this is what I listen to. Uh, On Top of the World by Imagine Dragons, Don't Stop Me Now by Queen, that's a good one. Um, You're Welcome from Moana, uh, It's Time to Party and Fun Night from Andrew WK, uh, Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine, and then My Shot from Hamilton. So that is my playlist for when I'm in a bad mood. For motivation, probably Bastille is my favorite band to listen to when I need motivation or I love musicals and I love to listen to any sort of soundtrack from a musical really but maybe Hamilton would be a good one for motivation as well okay so the next question is if I was stuck on a stranded island what are three things that I would bring with me and why well I can tell you right away Aaron Falcor and Khaleesi that's who I would bring with me. Why? Because I couldn't imagine my life without the three of them. And I feel like no matter what, as long as we're together as a family, we'll figure it out.
The next question is, have I been doing Weight Watchers for a whole year? No, I have not. Oh, what's going on with this hair? Look how white that is. Uh, I have not been doing Weight Watchers for a whole year. I've been doing it since January 2nd of 2018. So yeah, and I've lost about 40, I think 42 pounds since then. So in about five months. When I was, okay, this next question is so funny. I'm gonna have to insert a photo for this because I think I have one. Um, so the question is, when I was a teen, what music or actor posters did I have all over my bedroom wall? Okay, so first of all, I've always been a bedroom wall kind of girl. So when I was really young, I had all the cute boys and all like the Bop and BB magazines. But then when I hit like 15, I became obsessed. I'm not even kidding you, obsessed is not even strong enough of a word. Obsessed with Limp Bizkit, <laughs> the band. Oh my God. So I had pictures of Limp Bizkit and Fred Durst, the lead singer, all over my bedroom. I'm gonna insert a photo, if I can, of part of my bedroom. I mean, my car license plate said LB Mobile. And I had like stickers of Limp Bizkit. Oh my God, it's so tragically embarrassing, but that's, who I was obsessed with when I was a teen. So the next question is, what do I listen to to pull me out of a funk? I think I just answered that with my playlist, but definitely um, pulling me out of a funk, Obla Dee Obla da from the Beatles. Every time I'm just like, life is horrible, I can't deal with things, that song for whatever reason, just pulls me out of it, I don't know. It's just like, life goes on, you know? And uh, I, I just feel like I, I like to listen to that one when I'm in a bad funk. Also though, if I'm feeling like in a funk and I don't want to be pulled out of it, I just kind of want to like feel my feelings, I listen to Airborne Toxic Event because they write beautiful, beautiful music and it just really like pulls at the heartstrings. How do I feel about the changes that are happening at the Pirates of the Caribbean ride this year? Well, it's funny you ask because today, Friday, June 8th, is the day that it premiered with the new Red-Headed Pirate. I think it's amazing. Um, I think that Disney has a lot of really cringy things, I'm gonna be really honest, uh, about the parks, that quite frankly, I don't understand why they haven't been fixed. And I know that this is not a popular opinion because I know a lot of people will be like, but history, whatever. I don't care, history is not always right and history is not always okay. And I think that there's a lot of problems with a lot of rides that they should address and this is just one of many, to be completely honest. I'm sorry, but Disney should just not be in the business of promoting sex trafficking. And that's just the truth, that's what it is. And if while they're at it, they should re-examine uh, the end of Jungle Cruise too. You know what I'm talking about. All right, uh, what is my favorite childhood Disney movie? My favorite childhood Disney movie, I have two. Dumbo was the first one I ever really watched and I love it to death, like, like seriously, makes my heart hurt, I love it so much. Uh, Baby Mine, that song, makes me cry every single time. And then Robin Hood, because I loved Robin Hood. Watched it a million, but gillion times as a kid. And that's why I collect both of those as pins, because they just really hold a special place in my art um, from when I was a kid. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna stop the first video here because these are a lot of questions and this video is getting really long. So I'm gonna end it here and stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified when the next video, the next part of this Q&A comes. And I promise there'll be more Falcor snorting in the next one. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!